I thought I would just go ahead and show you another little demonstration using a hex clad pan. So I'm going to saute some peppers and onions with some garlic. And what I'm doing today is I'm doing a chicken shawarma. So I've got my chicken is in my pot right now with my sous vide um, water circulator. I can bring the video over there and you can see that quick too. But um, that's my jewel that I'm using this time. So a little bit of oil in here. I'm using avocado oil. And actually it's pretty funny because I kind of forgot that this was on the stove for a little bit and with that oil, but because avocado has such a high flash point, it didn't burn. So that's good. Yeah, so I'm doing chicken breast with some shawarma spice blend that I have and I'll show you what that looks like. That's it right there. Zayad, I think that's how they pronounce it. Zayad or Zayad, I'm not sure. But um, we'll have to tell you how the chicken tastes once I get it done. So my plan is to sous vide it. I know it seems a little strange, but I vacuum packed it, sous vide it, and then I'm gonna cut it up and put it in with this vegetables. And then, looks good already. I just wanna cook this until the onions are a little bit clear and done. And I'm also making a basmati rice with saffron. So here's my vegetable mix that we're gonna do on there. I got cucumber, tomato, a little bit of red onion, garlic, and fresh parsley. And I got some tzatziki sauce we're gonna use. I was gonna mix it together with this, but I thought, I don't know, I think it'll change too much of the flavor, so I left it separate. But this is gonna go with that. And then I've got some non bread that we picked up. I'll show you that. Here's my, I got a tandoori garlic non bread. So that's gonna go with our, I'm basically gonna make it like chicken euros in a sense. All right, that's that. And that's about all I'm gonna do with that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn my stove off. And then we're just gonna wait until a chicken finishes up. I got about another, uh, about another 30 minutes for the chicken. It takes about an hour and a half to sous vide the chicken. And it's at about 156 or 158, I forget. But let's take the camera over and show you what that looks like in the pot. All right, there's my chicken. Vacuum packed it. I was trying to use a marinade method with my chamber vacuum sealer and I was not very happy with that whole process. But, you know, I, I understand what it's doing. It's pulling a vacuum into the meat so it should help marinate the meat better. But I don't know, it's gonna be functionally, you know, useful for me. So, anyway. Now you don't have to vacuum pack. Um, you can use Ziploc bags, but make sure you use a freezer or Ziploc bag. And then I'll show you what I've got right here. And this other one, this is my pressure cooker, which I've got a little bit of sweet bell pepper, red onion, a teaspoon of garlic. It's about probably about half a cup of each of those vegetables. And then I've got a little bit of saffron threads in there. And what I did with these is I measured it out to a quarter teaspoon of loosely packed saffron threads. And then I'm gonna saute that right here in my pressure cooker. I've got two cups of basmati rice, three cups of chicken stock, and I'm gonna use one cup of peas and carrots that are frozen. I'm gonna throw it all together and boom! And that's gonna be our meal tonight. So I'm really excited. Back over to the stove here. And that's it for now. Show you what it looks like later. X clad pan, still working good. Looking very good. Be interesting to try it with that chicken because that's in that, it's in that um, uh, powdered uh, marinade in a sense. But uh, I think that turned out good too. And what I did with that is I used, I have a recipe that I wrote down and I used, I had about one 0.12 ounces of raw chicken, so about one, you know, almost like one and three fourths pounds pounds of raw chicken breast. And I did a tablespoon of olive oil, a tablespoon of minced garlic, half of a yellow onion julienne. Um, that go, went into the bags. I separate separated the bags because the breasts were pretty big, and I 
it's just easier to sous vide it when it's split up a little bit better like that. Then I used a quarter cup of that shawarma spice blend and then a quarter cup of chicken stock also. So it's all in that, in that bag with the chicken. So I'm excited to try it. I never did it before, uh, first time. Anyway, that's it for now. See you soon. All right, I got my chicken out of my pot with my jewel water circulator and I'm going to cut my chicken up for my shawarma chicken. Look at that. It smells unreal. Ooh, it smells good. I'm gonna cut it down a little bit smaller. Probably should have butterflied it quick and then cut it, but it's fine. I'm gonna take that onion and chicken and everything and put it right in my pan with those uh, the other red onion and pepper I have. So I'm gonna keep all this onion and chicken all together. So this one has also got onion on it. So I'll take that onion, throw it with that pile. And I'm gonna split this chicken breast because it's so fat. So this was cooking for an hour and a half at 158 degrees. It just smells unbelievable. Can't wait to have it with that rice. I'll show you a picture of everything when I'm done with the meal. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and place the chicken back in this tray with that liquid. It's like that. It's a lot of chicken, but it's good because we can repurpose it, right? I can either eat it as a leftover this week or we can even put it into something else. It's such a big piece of chicken. So I'm gonna cut it down a little bit smaller here. I haven't even tried it yet. I wanna try a piece of chicken. It smells great. So just so you know, the spice that I got is not overly salty at all. I'm almost thinking I should add some salt, but I do have that stock in with my... Now the difference between a stock and a broth, a broth is like a fully ready to go liquid, right? That you can use as a meal, drink, even drink it as a meal, right? Stock is a little less than that. It doesn't usually have much for salt, but um, I don't like to over salt things anyway. So that's kind of my deal, but you can see how it turns a little yellow. All right, I'm gonna get it over to the stove. The stove turned back on. I'm going to add the chicken. I'm just gonna add all that liquid from the chicken right into the um, pan. And there you go. Look at that. Oh my Lord. Whew. The smell is great. It just smells so good. Okay, rice is cooking, chicken's cooking. Well, the chicken's fully cooked, but it's gonna cook it a little bit more with these peppers and onions all together. Try to reduce that, um, that liquid down a little bit. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put a cover on it. Let it steam a little bit. Get all that flavor put together nicely. And, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it open now and try to reduce some of that liquid in the bottom there. And I got it on kind of a medium high heat, but I'm just gonna go ahead and let that simmer a bit open and let that liquid evaporate so it's not quite so wet. I think my rice timer just went off, so I'm gonna go check on my rice. It's gonna be good, I'm so excited. All right, I had to come over to my pressure cooker and show you the rice. That looks flippin' fantastic. Probably could have even used a little bit more saffron, but I can smell it, which is good. And now the thing I could have done is I could have warmed up a little bit of the chicken stock and let that um, saffron threads just steep in it. It's almost like tea, right? Kind of let it brew in there, and then you get a really nice uh, yellow color out of it but I think it looks really, really good. So 
So I'm excited about this race. And I'll show you everything when it's all put yeah, together. Starting to get a little bit of evaporation from the liquid. So it's cooking down, which is what I want. All right, we'll just let that cook down and we're ready to serve. Rice is done, got everything ready. I'm excited this meal's gonna be fantastic. All right, see you guys soon. Mm -hmm.